this you are sure of Patna. We're going to talk that about that. Is very recent. So the uh, this I don't have any slide. Was today. live on uh, 18th of May 2020. We will not be PubMed talking has anymore. Been in existence and right, right here from the 19th of century, century, 18th century is the PubMed that bingo. time. That's big the volumes, of, big uh, fat volumes of index minutes, medicals with that will be deliberating on the biomedical literature. When they shift to Dr. Karuna Electronic, is the screen and visible in the PubMed screen? Yes, sir. 1999 PubMed becomes. So this is where we are. And uh, now in this PubMed 2020, we all this is the brand new version of PubMed from that has been come and they allowed the transition to so any one uh, of us. Period of but time this version of PubMed, old version, that is very recent. Yes, uh, this version and of the new version, but right now this is the default of May 2020. So, uh, before PubMed I get into the use of PubMed, there is one time lagging that I was very like to bring you. And that's the medical terminologies we know. Then came a transition in 1960 when they said, What is PubMed? What is Medline? And is PubMed then it was available for a price. These three terms, 1999, PubMed is synonymous. But in fact, they are not so. So as Dr. Gateway was saying, that this is a brand new version of PubMed that has the histopathology, the cytology, and allowed the transition to hematology. As we also know from our old version, which is called the legal mathematics. And the new version, but right now this is the default arithmetic mode. algebra so, and geometry. Uh, before I so get into the use of PubMed, has got there are sections. Uh, uh, the uh, chunk of one it is comprised of uh, like to bring uh, here. a set of and journals. And that's the most journals. PubMed has there got a lot of uh, confusion in the library of medicine. Pub, they have what got a group of advisors, what is Medline, which what is PubMed uh, Literature, so technical these three terms, they're often considered very much synonymous. But in fact, they are not so. So, so as Dr. Gitti was saying that the pathology lab so comprises of three sections, as we see here, sections, there are around the histopathology, the cytology, from across and the hematology, journals. as we also but know the from bulk our, of it, uh, around 5,000 days of journals, they comprise a group of mathematics at three sections, arithmetic, so algebra, and geometry. So also then there is a second section, which we call PubMed Central. The chunk of it is comprised of PubMed Central, and PubMed Central is very prestigious journal. PubMed has three got uh, online this national library of medicine uh, they have citations. got a group of advisors so PubMed central is the free uh, component technical of review uh, of PubMed and this not all of the journals in PubMed allows certain are journals for to be as part of in this collection so called section B in PubMed so, as and we see here, here there are around 32 million citations from across so seven thousand journals seven thousand bulk of it reports uh, there are around five thousand uh, odd journals the comprise a board which is called the online so this is the section A in the so PubMed. The section then there is a second so section between all the PubMed Central, line, which is the right major component, the PubMed Central, PubMed Central and which is the PubMed Central free online version, the, uh, and the archive of bookshelf. free together they comprise the uh, citation which is called PubMed. So PubMed, so PubMed Central is allows the free component of access the uh, biomedical literature not all of the from journals anywhere in the world Central are in the internet as we see in a minute. So just to that section B in the PubMed, different sections. Medlines and part central if you scroll NCBI down the bookshelf, page, you come so to a certain link around ten seven thousand section of PubMed. There are around a link uh, called the journals. Two thousand and in this odd, journal uh, uh, online uh, you find uh, there are journals, clinical guidelines in medline. So, so just so clicking on that you find together the figure of line five thousand one hundred and eighty one PubMed center. So these are the medline journals. They are they are they are the bulk of this together mentioned around seven thousand odd journals which is listed in PubMed. PubMed. So, so PubMed allows us to access are these uh, biomedical literature from and, anywhere uh, in the then world. Then there are these wherever journals internet which are is available. deposited so in just PubMed to Central. Highlight all of them difference uh, between are, Medline uh, and PubMed Central. If you scroll find down the first page, is you come to Medline. a link. The second one is index for Medline. But the third one you come is to a link is called the journal PubMed Central. And only. in this journal, it is not a part of Medline. There are journals which are index in Medline. Around seven thousand journals. You that find in the PubMed, figure of uh, 5,200 uh, whatever is in PubMed Center, so these are the that is line journals. available they are, they are, they are So the this is about, this, as we uh, mentioned, around about 7, uh, the, the composition of listed what they are in PubMed. So 5,281 of them, the bottom are the, line is uh, that 
that medline journals, everything in PubMed is medline. Uh, then there they are have these journals which are citations, deposited in PubMed medline citation. All this of them uh, is very important. They are, they are, they are not the second point that I like to make one is index for that, medline. Uh, the if second you have one is a journal, medline, if you have but a, the third uh, one is, say, is, is an PubMed article which only, goes into a medline journal. So part of medline. It goes into the PubMed We have got around 7,000 journals. Got that a group in of PubMed people uh, who go through uh, every article that is available in PubMed that is freely indexes. available online. So these people, so this is read about each and uh, every article about, that is uh, the, in, uh, the composition line of what they, they are going to talk about today. That's a lot of certain terms. So the bottom line, line is that article not of everything in PubMed based on is based on a, a, a compilation of terms citations. which are called certain medical subject headlines or mention. Is very important. So the next thing that we got to know about the second point that I like to make here is that. Uh, of PubMed if you is, have is a the, journal, is, is if you have a called uh, medical, which is a published an article, which goes into a medline journal, now so automatically if we say it goes now into the PubMed in, database. Enough of talking. Now Let PubMed, PubMed has go into got PubMed. a group now, of say people we have got who go through every uh, so PubMed article that is available in PubMed. Uh, they are for certain uh, certain concepts so and what people who read each and every article that is in the in the medline literature on that concept. And say we have got a concept. So uh, this I article of research based on a uh, fungal uh, infection of this of terms, which so are first of all, I would just type in like a, a layman. So the next uh, thing that we got to know about infection uh, of PubMed is and that I will the signature search. of PubMed. Is is that is is I the component search, called mesh, uh, which is uh, here I have got medical list, subject uh, around thirty now one thousand more say, than thirty one thousand papers. In, enough which of is talking. not let us just just possible go, go into PubMed now. Time. Say we have now got we need to know how to uh, navigate so this search. Is about so click on uh, looking advanced, for certain uh, the certain concepts and what what is the search and what evidence down to the section in the in the global research on that concept. Under this we have got a concept right window. I want to do a research. If you click on uh, that, fungal come infection to a section called uh, translation. So first of all, this I would just tell you type in like a layman is going to uh, interpret this word this called fungal term. infection and of skin. In this, and in I will this translation search, you find that fungal infection of skin that has uh, been converted I have got certain list to, uh, to uh, uh, around 30 terms uh, called and more uh, than dermatomycosis which is not which human is the word that the government recognizes now we need to know the how to navigate of this fungal search. infection so click on add one so right uh, now let us stop on here so we know and scroll down that we know how to find out the mesh term the medical subject history and search how to find out the mesh term for the concept of your interest Click on that. So you click you on come to a section called scroll down translation. To the history this and search you detail section. How public on the right to click the arrow the and term. there you will find in the this, mesh terms in this translation you find for that your, your fungal uh, infection of, of skin. That Going has been back converted to PubMed by PubMed again. To, so uh, under to, the explore uh, section, now let us explore uh, dermatomycosis, by mesh. which so as we is mentioned, the word that PubMed recognizes medical as the synonym and of fungal infection It actually is the language that PubMed understands. So right understand. now, let us stop PubMed here. So we know for for the first all thing that we know that is how to find out the mesh term in the biomedical literature. How to find out the mesh term for the concept of dermatomycosis. So in the mesh one, there are other Scroll also. down so, so to the uh, history and search detail section. You find that click on the right the mesh looking is arrow. Designed and here you will find uh, take care the mesh of the British spelling, the American spelling, or both your, kinds of spelling. Uh, of uh, the singular Going and the plural. Going back to PubMed is taken care again. of by so under the explore section. Now let us explore what we mean by mesh. Going back to as we mentioned, let us look at mesh is actually made in some subject study and the explore section is the language that PubMed understands. And as we we know now that for all the words that language or for keep on uh, talking fungal about infection of skin in the biomedical dermatomycosis. dermatomycosis. If you so now fungal click infection of skin, this word is dermatomycosis the mesh in the page, mesh. So it looks very other much like PubMed also, so page, but uh, when it actually is mesh, mesh as you find find that mesh here, uh, mesh here, it is designed mesh written here. Uh, take and care of the British spelling, the American spelling of both kinds of spelling organized. The singular and the plural, everything is taken care of by all the mesh Medical headings that is listed going back under this to, database going back is the PubMed is, is like group us look into uh, mesh in different branches. So again, under so all the medical terminology, all the medical terms that we keep using and that is available in mesh, they are divided 
divided it into for, uh, 16 broad headings. You have got and those are called the branches. If you now click on this, so mesh, if you get to the mesh page, not so it all looks very much like the PubMed frame page, but say, for example, it's a mesh four as you find mesh here, which is one is a branch called mesh written here. So all the body parts, all this is very much suggestive of different anatomical organs. We see them are listed under the anatomy branch of mesh language. All the medical headings that is this branch is a chemical is and drug is, is grouped in analytical different branches. branches. So different branches so are there. All the medical all of the terminology, all the medical terms that we keep so using, and for example, now we will mesh, search for they are divided uh, into dermatomic broad headings. Uh, and you have got, and those are all the branches. Certain branches. How mesh so fits this, uh, among the sixteen uh, branches, not all of them are used. So as we click on search under the mesh heading. Most we commonly use branches, the branches that branch we are talking anatomy. about. Anatomy. So, so all this the body is the branch. We find the dermatomycosis different and under the category of diseases. All of them as we mentioned, mentioned under the anatomy branch of mesh. There is an organism available under mesh. There is one the category branch. is the disease category. There is a chemical so and drugs branch. Dermatomycosis is listed under the disease branch. Category. So different branches are there. The word that all of them are not for that appears in bold. And in the branch, for example, now there is certain for about there's so my search term and there are certain the terms below this search term. Mesh the this, one so as we move this, from uh, above uh, downwards the mesh is organized so in as such we a way click that on search from under the, the more general terms we find the, more the branches terms. that we were talking and about the, the, so and, and this the is the branch we find dermatomycosis this term, listed under the category the of diseases as we mentioned there are a series of diseases they will automatically be available under your search one category is the disease category so here we have dermatomycosis about the upstream under the disease will be listed in the literature and so that is word that we are searching for that appears so old. So and if in I the look branch, for if I find PubMed for dermatomycosis, papers on the search term and there is certain papers, terms papers on can be below this search term. Papers on hyalomycosis, as we move papers from above downwards, onycomycosis is organized in them such a way that we can be returned the more by general PubMed. terms. And there so are the more other branches also. Dermatomycosis also occurs under the rule is infection subbranch of the disease category. So we find all the literature the patterns of the about the downstream in the terms, mesh category they will automatically be listed of in your search. But so the second of the, important none of the that uh, literature is that is about the upstream terms that will be listed, listed in the all literature. The terms so that is called will automatically be returned by PubMed. But so none of the look terms for if I search so the literature of dermatomycosis will not be returned by PubMed. If you look at the literature above, you find a general description of this, but this term means the year in them, which it will automatically be returned come to by a very PubMed. important and section there are other that's branches called also dermatomycosis also under the mesh headings. Under the so subheadings are basically qualified. So we find so you this is about the pattern who is of interested in one in particular mesh category as of dermatomycosis. The example of dermatomycosis. So, being, uh, so second important that we want to highlight is that if you search for dermatomycosis, of dermatomycosis all the terms downstream will automatically be returned by PubMed. If you are interested in not in anything else of dermatomycosis, so about but on the diagnosis of dermatomycosis, by you click on this box if you look and then you can search PubMed, above only for the diagnosis, a general description of, of dermatomycosis. This, term means so let us now use, in which is, you can use and then we come to a very important to, to section search PubMed. that's called this. So say for example, I want, under to, the mesh I want heading. to search so for dermatomycosis, are basically so I will so add, you may be I will search for dermatomycosis in one particular aspect of dermatomycosis. So, so I will being add of this term microbiology the builder. Your research and here you find the diagnosis recognizes dermatomycosis as so a right mesh term. You find you see this heading word bracket. This if you are interested, not these are the things of dermatomycosis, with the search but on the diagnosis so there are different tags which PubMed uses to qualify. You can search PubMed and look for the diagnosis to identify the field to specify the fields where PubMed would search. So let us now use PubMed is going to search you can use this dermatomycosis to a mesh. And let's see what so happens. So say for example, when you I want PubMed, to, I want to search for dermatomycosis mesh term. term. So I and will here we go. add, I will, I want to search there for dermatomycosis in general. Almost I don't want to further qualify it. And so that's I will not something that we are comfortable with. So builder. let's go back again and, and here you find now PubMed recognizes this. So as we were mentioning, say for example, I want to do a broad research. I am not interested in those topics where PubMed, dermatomycosis, 
resources are just been made you have just to qualify uh, dealt with uh, along with so uh, many other uh, to diseases. identify the field to I want to the specify the of my I want for that focus so PubMed is going to search papers on dermatomycosis where dermatomycosis is and the let's see major what happens topic. when we so I will PubMed click this box dermatomycosis as the to mesh top. major topic and here and we then go I will uh, add there are this 20, to search 000, builder. Almost 29,000 papers so returned. Here I and that's not something that I had been uh, tagged. So let's go back to my and let's try tagged, to had been narrow down our search. Now there is so a change as in we the were tag. Now this tag say for example, I want to do a broad so research. So I am not interested in those papers in those topics that are part of my course. Dermatomycosis has just concept and just now dealt with along with so many other diseases. I want to specify my own to focus my Let's, search but that on those papers also is only that to, uh, that where dermatomycosis is the uh, major to deal with. So, so let I us will now try to this focus it little bit more to mesh and say now topic. I want to and then I will specific uh, aspect of dermatomycosis to search called uh, diagnosis. So here I say, so the, initially, I, I, I had the previous as a this selected box, box and I clicked on the submitting diagnosis. Now there is a change in the tag to the search now builder, as a and now I term. find that so dermatomycosis the has has only been, those papers will be returned in the search term, term uh, is the with the slash behind the slash and after the main And now from 28,000 uh, so to our search is reduced to 25,000. I am sure that going to be returned with number, so there are some 25,000. Uh, it goes down so to deal seven thousand three hundred and five. So let us now try to focus so let us now scroll down and, and say now the I new want to use this each one of these papers, of each one of these papers called uh, individually, and say the first. Let so us go the, into the first the um, that has been first uh, selected box, and I public, click on uh, this updating that we find and that this is the search window. Let us let us understand. Let us find that what the submitting organizes each of these papers in the search term that is the source. Slash behind the, the slash paper the from main journal of Nepal uh, Medical so Association. Now, if I come the title of the paper, look up at where comes the authors. I am, uh, and if I scroll I further going down, to be with here I number, find so on the right from side, from side a link it called goes the mesh down to 7,300. So what so let us now scroll down in the each and every paper each one of these papers one of these papers you can click on individually so find and say that the first let us go into the is not first term that the mesh term search that has been returned by onychomycosis so as i was mentioning automatic explosion of the search window let us as onychomycosis occurred below dermatomycosis organizes each of these reports indicates that in that paper the source of this major topic that has been dealt from the journal of Mesh heading followed by this there comes mesh. the title this of the paper. The mesh, this there comes the author and if I mesh scroll major further down, topic, here and I find uh, on the right side, this is how the link this for is the mesh is organized. So I find so here we that about, we what about as I was mentioned, mesh works and every we talked paper about how to and use the mesh as a search terms, terms to each of these papers. We talked about the organization of so the mesh page and we look at how to use as the mesh term but we find as in the search builder as I was mentioning and automatic this explosion has taken place to do the so PubMed as onychomycosis occurred below now, dermatomycosis uh, it, it is not enough it is not enough that in this paper uh, this is a major topic the that has been dealt with as i so mentioned mesh terms are a lot this is the mesh so this is the the only to the medline mesh major topic but we know that and, uh, PubMed is not only about medline sizes how this is organized there are certain other PubMed about the reports which are not in mesh so if we use we talked about how to use the for mesh as a search term, term then you will be missing about the organization of the Secondly, mesh page not and every biomedical literature to use this mesh term is, uh, to, uh, as a, in the search as a mesh term. option so and, let me and show you use this certain mesh term diseases. to do the PubMed say for search. example we want to do a now, research uh, on is it, it is endemic not enough. It is not enough to uh, search so that's PubMed an using the group mesh of diseases term alone. As but I mentioned, there is, uh, mesh terms are uh, uh, This is are not a mesh term. So if I search for the medline citations, endemic mycosis, but we know that I do PubMed is find, not only uh, about find medline as a, as a mesh term. There so are cannot use mesh other PubMed for searching for PubMed. Not in medline. Let us say so another if you use group of mesh fungi that we are talking about for searching PubMed, then you will be missing out on them. If we use melanized fungi to search PubMed, is, uh, is there uh, are 
we we don't Listed find melanin as a fungi, mesh term. but I, so let me show you only certain fungi. important so diseases. This also is say for not, example, this also we want not to do a research on which is, which is entertained by mycosis. Public. So we need uh, so mesh is fine, so that's an but we also group of need diseases, to add but certain other is, uh, words to PubMed. This is not a mesh term. So if I we will look at mesh words again, endemic mycosis. Sometimes later, so having done that, let us look at so I cannot use mesh alone doing for PubMed. And let us say another important group the most of fungi important that we are talking about are the Boolean melanized operators. fungi. So if you know, if we if you know that melanized uh, fungi you know that, uh, research uh, three words uh, in their English literature, we, we don't find melanized fungi, but we find these are the uh, words, only fungi. Only words so that also you have to type in capital also is when you search PubMed. Which is, and which we will show you the use PubMed. of so we need to use mesh is fine, but we also need to add certain other words. How we can and those are the keywords. So we will look at concept words called again. invasive bacteria uh, uh, sometime later. So having in done PubMed, that, let us see let what us happens at certain other invasive candidates for doing a PubMed search. Now, as I mentioned, whenever you do a search, the most important look at how of them PubMed are the Boolean operators by clicking on so the if you know, advanced if you know option. That, uh, and if you, if you click know on that down and this right looking in arrow, English literature, see, invasive candidates is not. Is these being, are the words, look, the is only being words that you have to type to in capital when a mesh term PubMed. called candy and we will show you the use of that is fine, PubMed, but it is also being operators in searching into for candidiasis and Let invasive. Us say, uh, and we how find we can search any paper for that has got something to do with concept invasive called invasive candidiasis or invasive. In PubMed, let us see what happens when we search for the word invasive, invasive candidiasis. Will also be returned now, by PubMed. as I mentioned, if we, if we you search, do a search, just like look that, at how PubMed interprets your search. So what we need to do is, if you want to use invasive, invasive on candidiasis as, as a single right term in your search, you see, you have invasive to do something which is called the phrase searching. Look, so to make invasive candidiasis into a a mesh term called candidiasis, inverted comma, that is fine. But around it is this also word. being and now split up PubMed will into search for invasive and invasive as a and single we word. If we click on advanced paper again that has and got scroll down, to do with we find that aspergillosis. Invasive or invasive is when we looked at as separate words. So any we paper that has got the word invasive in it will also be returned by PubMed. But if we look at if invasive and invasive just like that, we have for got invasive uh, candidiasis. Only, only so what we need to do is, so if you want to use that invasive candidiasis as a single a term single in your search, uh, word, you have to do something which is called uh, the phrase searching. So, so to phrase make invasive is about candidiasis uh, putting into the a search phrase, term under inverted comma, if there are inverted comma in your inverted search comma term. around this Let word, say, and now we want to search for invasive, invasive candidiasis as a single in word. If we click on advanced again so now and I need to find papers we find which, that have, which talk about invasive candidiasis when we look at the same time separate words, we have 5,368. So here we use Use citation operator. But if we look at invasive so candidiasis we are alone, to get papers then we have got that have uh, got in only only something is wrong. Article. So here you see that the invasive it is being treated as a single uh, word, as a single. So now uh, we are supposed to concept. get papers. So on, phrase uh, searching is about uh, uh, um, putting the search term under inverted comma. They talk there about invasive candidiasis in and HIV. Let us say and we want we go. We have got been with invasive candidiasis under in HIV patients. On, uh, so now uh, I need to this, find uh, papers the, which have, which have got which talk about invasive candidiasis and, and the same HIV, time uh, talk about HIV infection Let us say also. We so want papers we which use also the Boolean operator called and. and. So now we are supposed uh, to get papers candidiasis that have got invasive candidiasis something is wrong. in HIV patients. So I will expand the search term by putting an OR. So because we want papers. That so now we are talk about to get invasive candidiasis on, uh, or talk about uh, mucocutaneous on, candidiasis that talk about invasive candidiasis a bracket around that and uh, here we go we have got 108 cutaneous results, results I will on, like them to be used uh, as on this uh, so I will which have got both around invasive candidiasis invasive and HIV uh, or mucocutaneous candidiasis let us say we want papers which also deal with Mucor candidiasis. Uh, so uh, any paper that deals with either of these along with candidiasis also deals in with HIV, HIV patients. Those papers so are supposed I will to be returned by search by I putting find an or. So because
because we want papers that either talk about invasive candidiasis or talk about mucocutaneous candidiasis. And I will put, I find a that, uh, around that one paper uh, has invasive been discerned, candidiasis but, uh, or mucocutaneous candidiasis. I will like them to be used as a phrase. So I will put inverted comma around them. Invasive candidiasis or mucocutaneous candidiasis and HIV. So any paper that deals with either of these two forms of candidiasis also so deals now with HIV. We had 108 papers are supposed to be written. introducing the mucocutaneous candidiasis, I find that our search term, uh, our search results increased to 311. Now, so that was the use of the OR term. When you use OR, you increase the number of your searches. When you I use find that and, uh, no, you decrease the number of your searches. Uh, now, let us look at the third Boolean operator called NOT. So, let us say we do not want sub studies that have been conducted on animals. We want only studies that have been conducted on humans. So, what we do is we put the entire thing under a pair of parentheses. And then we say we do not so want now. So we, we had hundred eight results after introducing the new animals. We do not want animal studies. Our search to be so our we search results using this third Boolean operator. Now, and so that now was the use of the third term. Our when you search use results or, goes down you to two hundred You increase the number of your searches. So that's about when you use the use and of you decrease the, the number of you restrict your searches. So now let us let us do. So I have told you about the use of the mesh. So let us say we do not want have studies that have been conducted about the, uh, on animal operators, only how to look that for and on humans. We have so what told we do you about the we phrase the entire how you can convert under a multi pair of search concepts into a single and then phrase we say we do not want one. comma. And so we write let us now uh, in capitals another important and thing to know about animals. We do not want uh, any more studies. So say for example, I work only in those papers where where now from 311 of our search results present to in the, in the, either in that so title that's about or in the, the use of the so different Boolean operators. So now let us do it. So I have will write about the use of the mesh after muco uh, or mucocutaneous candidiasis uh, also. I uh, told you about the uh, and I will write HIV how to look for and or also. and not. So we have told you about I am the phrase to get papers. How you can convert multi words either of invasive candidiasis or mucocutaneous candidiasis. Let us now another important thing to know about this different but these terms have been dealt with. So say for example, I want only in the app space. So this where, thing under where, the search bracket uh, is, is called invasive attack. candidiasis. I am now restricting it is this present to the, the in the title and in the title only. or in the now if I click so on I will search, write uh, I don't find any paper under search because bracket. I had read the search I will write a very stringent. -A so let us now uh, mucocutaneous candidiasis is also under the third bracket. So say for example, I will write mucocutaneous candidiasis under third bracket also. So now let us see. I am supposed to get invasive papers candidiasis where and HIV, where these terms of are invasive found candidiasis in the or mucocutaneous candidiasis and HIV occur are dealt with, but these terms have been dealt with either in the, in the title, title or, or in, or in, in the, abstract. the abstract. So this thing under the search bracket is called a tag. I am now restricting the search to the title and abstract field only. Now, if I click on search, uh, I don't find any paper so because so I had made four search papers right now. We are very stringent. Where this, so e let us now where invasive candidiasis remove and HIV. One of these. Look down, so say you for find example, find invasive candidiasis in the title. And uh, you find here also invasive candidiasis in the title. Papers on invasive uh, candidiasis this paper and where HIV, we have got a third where these terms are this found. This is a paper which is not in English. So it's in Spanish and this one is in Japanese. So that is about the use of the tag option in the in the in the search in the title. Now in let the us abstract. now do a search. So I have got one. The strategy that I follow is I never do a search one time. I do something which I call uh, doing the search. Which some people say. Uh, so we have got dirty search, search now. An overview of the search. Just to say where uh, invasive what is there in the literature. And if you so look say down, for example, uh, and invasive candidiasis in the title. Called, uh, uh, you find a here also or invasive some candidiasis people in the title. Uh, systematic uh, this paper where so it is always a good option to write a paper which is not in English. So it's in Spanish and this one is in Japanese. So say for example, I have a research question option. There was a talk on research question just now. 
now now and we let us now do way a formulating so i have question. got one so my strategy that i follow is i never do a detection one time i do something which i can detection uh, doing the tests, search which some people say better uh, than culture dirty search an overview kind of search just to see uh, in what is known in the literature so say for example and, uh, and then i do something as called a building a search or some, some people call it so a, a here, systematic search i have got so it is uh, always a good uh, option to write down something down that your i want to concepts in a my word intervention file is and then detection test that is the so uh, say for example i have a research question i have got a common research question i want to compare it and we have so that is my formulating a research question i want to my research question with invasive aspergillosis so that is my p component and this is the outcome and that i am detection to, uh, observe tests are they better in diagnosing better than culture so this is my search concept and the first search or the quick dirt diagnosing search, here i just put in the main words invasive so my main words are antigen detection aspergillosis so let us put it in red so my next important concept is culture. i have got a uh, uh, and my third important concept something that i want to invasive test my intervention is antigen detection so test that no, is don't the don't need to uh, do anything thing that i just want to put do these the items, words just i have got a comparator i want to compare PubMed. it with culture so a that's my c component search. it is I not want the to final do search, this but in this is going with invasive aspergillosis so that's my what is there and this is the outcome that i am going to detection observe are they better in diagnosis culture so this is my search and concept and invasive search aspergillosis quick dirty and search there is here no punctuation in no the main words no so my main words are simple antigen detection word. pubmed is going so let to us search put for it, it in red so my next important concept is culture papers i don't and this is not my final concept but this gives me an idea of what is there in the so pubmed and no for example need to do I, anything i just put this such word paper here just put this word in and antigen detection PubMed. in the diagnosis of invasive aspergillosis so it is not my quick dirty search, quick dirty search, search but this is going i will to find out broad overview of what is there in pubmed in important papers antigen detection more or less deal with what i am going to look for culture now i will and, uh, use these papers to find to and build my there is no systematic search so no that's a clean no search phrase. so as Just i explain and down this page and i come to something to called for it. the mesh term so, so let us return in this in the nine papers what is the mesh term not my so final my concept search, but this gives me an idea of what is there in the pubmed so my first step for example antigen detection so this is my concept here galactoman and antigen detection in the diagnosis of invasive aspergillosis so from my quick dirty search i will find out two concept three one important is antigen detection important papers and which for antigen more or less detection deal i with find i am going to look for mesh term and now antigens, i will fungal uh, use analysis. these papers so, so i will build my systematic search so that's as, the clean search uh, for so as search i scroll down this page so I here come to this is the mesh term the that mesh term so let us see and i in am this, in fine this, with this what are the mesh term. term so, so my concept is first as, concept uh, is I, I add invasive this to the aspergillosis so my first concept is antigen detection antigens fungal so this is my but concept i one. know that there are papers so there are certain entry terms so somebody uh, there can be some non midline citations which use this term instead of concept antigen one fungal is so i would antigen use detection or, and for antigen detection and i will put I find my uh, a mesh term in antigen word also along with this analysis so i so will fungal antigens and use and this now as, i will uh, uh, use for this search uh, in mesh search pubmed so here this is the mesh term that is being searched so this is and what i, I, I am around 10000 paper search I term using so my I first use concept this as, where uh, i have I, used I add this as to the I search builder use the mesh as well as the keyword and to search fungal and when you do but the systematic search there are you do so there one are certain entry terms so somebody my second there concept can be some non midline citations so which my second concept is instead culture. of antigen so fungal see. so i is would there use any mesh term in the paper that i had identified and i will put my uh, on uh, that talks entry. about keyword culture. also so my along paper with of this. interest was this and this so were fungal the mesh antigens. terms listed with and this paper now, i will so i click uh, on mesh uh, and i find related to culture uh, we have got 
So this is what I get around uh, ten thousand papers. I get as per my course diagnosis that where is I have used which so as I mentioned with culture, so I use as well as the keyword um, mesh term. term. And when you do the so systematic search, cellulosis, you do one concept at a time. Use this my second the, concept uh, is mesh term. Uh, for so my second concept is uh, and culture. I see so here that see, under as per cellulosis, there is any mesh term uh, in the paper that I had identified. Uh, on so this may uh, that give me some diagnosis. Culture. There so is my diagnosis. paper of interest was uh, this, there is, and this were the mesh terms listed with I this don't paper. Culture as so such, I click on mesh, uh, and I find uh, I see my culture. Uh, so these are the terms that I can use for uh, for uh, 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 for uh, aspergillosis uh, diagnosis. Builder, that and is I can also use uh, the with culture. So I use uh, this. Uh, as that uh, people use terms in non midline so aspergillus so i can use and it, then uh, i use aspergillus as the uh, mesh term for, uh, for uh, aspergillus uh, and i see here that under aspergillosis culture uh, there is uh, so this can be my keyword i am to use so this may phrase. give me some so diagnosis and there is diagnosis comma, and then uh, there is pubmed so this is how i i do use culture mesh as, such, as well as a uh, keyword Uh, look I for, see microbiology. Uh, look for, uh, so these the are the terms concept. that I can and use. And here again, for, I get uh, uh, for ten thousand two hundred and ninety-nine papers. Search so that also and I can also use when some I go to my terms, third some concept terms that uh, that is uh, that people use that in invasive aspergillosis. So let's see if so so what mesh term is there about invasive aspergillosis. So this is here the paper that I had found. And here under mesh terms again, I find. So this can be my keyword. I, I find in such as a phrase. Uh, so I put it under inverted comma. But I comma. find something and called aspergillosis pathology. I search so this for is how I use both and, mesh uh, as well as here a I find to look invasive for uh, pulmonary for, uh, aspergillosis. Uh, so I can concept, use that and here as my again I get around and ten thousand two hundred and ninety nine papers. And uh, so that also then is I a lot. Some when I go to my third concept and that is. Invasive aspergillosis. aspergillosis. So let us see if what mesh term is I there can, uh, about invasive uh, some aspergillosis. Other keyword also so this same. is here uh, the paper uh, that I have found, uh, and here simple under aspergillosis mesh terms again I find. Because I never know how uh, index find has taken place, so I want to have a comprehensive uh, search. So I, but I find that also called aspergillosis to search pathology. Pubmed. I search for so it. So now I have got. Three and, concepts uh, searched in PubMed. And now let us invasive la pulmonary aspergillosis. In so I can use that as, as my mesh term. term. All of them. And I'll so add I have the search builder. The last and, three uh, terms. Then I use uh, some this is the my first like, concept. Uh, invasive. I add this to my query. This is my second concept. About the culture, I can, so I uh, add this with an uh, and some other keyword. Because I want same. papers that deal with both uh, the concepts, uh, and this is my third simple aspect. I add this also to my because uh, I never search know how uh, the and would be operated. So I want to have so a comprehensive search. See, for so I use this that also each of this concept. We had around uh, so now I have got or more three concepts for each of PubMed, and now let us search for that because I am interested in those papers. All of them deal. We are all of them. We are returned with six hundred seventy-seven. So around one percent of this. This is the my first ninety-nine percent of the papers. I add this to my query, and we are and now this is my. My second concept about the culture. culture. So Say I, for example, on the left and side, we want to give our papers that deal with both the concepts. So we can choose those articles. So we can click on this link called the comparison and that will return the index and the Boolean operator. Uh, so this is how I can use the comparison. With all of so them. this is how we, we are we are uh, returned uh, PubMed six hundred seventy seven. So around one percent of the side uh, uh, paper narrow down our search and at the same time have a very comprehensive and search. And now so we that can we do not miss out on the interest rate of our search. That can, Say for that example, can on the left side, we want to 
our research so is about gap, the comparison. We started, so we can what choose PubMed those is, articles under the contents so of PubMed. Second, we went on to have and that will return us with 95 Third, results. Third, we went on to we have the recent papers. Uh, so we can scroll down on this timeline and say we want papers that were published after 2000 and what is the keywords also. So then we went on to describe the phrase searching. So this is how we can use this PubMed went on to describe to the, the, the uh, further tag, concept uh, how we can narrow down our search tag, tag. and at the same time have a comprehensive uh, search uh, so that we do not miss out the demo of how we can use that can, search and there my trick is improve that our first search out uh, uh, so just a recap we started, started with what PubMed search, is where I get the contents of important papers second we went on to have the concept and then I use this paper third we went on to have the concept and then I look on build up that systematic search not using find one mesh cannot be the only such and when I use uh, those words we need to have I, certain I, individually words I, also. I, I then we went on to describe the, the phrase search then we went on to describe the Boolean operators then we can went on to describe by using the, the uh, tag options given on the left we can restrict our search to tag okay. and so then that's we about, had that's about uh, the use of example a demo of I would like to end with one important thing that that is the most important search that PubMed overview that to search by authors, authors where I get one of the important papers that deal uh, with what a person is working and then I use this and they want to find, to find out, out the papers uh, he and or then I look on a build up a systematic to search in the last one of the time and for when example, I use those names about them, I, I, I and individually the first name that comes up to mind about the search for Indian mythology by using the hand of Indian operator and then we can further the Arunali by using the so when we search for authors on the left that you type in the last okay. name so that's and about then that's about on, uh, then you the click use of then, PubMed then in general the first I would like to end and with one important thing that, that, that is the most important that written by PubMed any individual on earth to search by individual authors on earth if you are interested in last one particular and uh, the same person who is working in your field so there can be many find out what the papers but we are interested in only that but you need to put in the last name of that author say for example we are talking about that is that if you know one and paper, the first name which is definitely written by the about, person you are interested uh, in, you click on that of paper, and in that say, paper, we say, uh, find out Dr. his Arunar name in the author list. So when we search and then for author, click on is that, that you type in the last so then, name. You and will then find you only on, those then papers then which are written by the first that individual, individual who you were interested in, and not the other individuals that are written by any individual, the, any individual on earth, any individual on earth who shares the, the last other name way to the and other the same that we can do in the first place. Is so there can the be many chakrabarti and to is, do journal so search, we, but we have got three in options. But first, you can do uh, who works uh, in this field of interest. Full, so the trick to do that name is the that journal, say I want one, one paper, paper, Indian which journal is definitely of written by the person you are interested so in. Either I click on that paper the and full name of the paper, journal, but I want find out his name in the author list, and then you click on. So say for example, this is the midnight abbreviation. You will find only those. Papers so which are we written find here that, that individual none of the paper is none of the in papers and not the other individuals that are who here share his name. last name and the and the, and the, the first initial. The other way to the other search that we can do in PubMed is the journal search. And to do journal so search, the, you have got for three example, options. We search for, for Indian Journal of Medical uh, Microbiology. Full Full name of the and journal. Say I want to search for here. Indian and Journal of Medical that, Microbiology. Uh, it is so either I can write in. We the don't find name Indian of the journal, journal of medical but microbiology. I want to we find international short, so journal of medical microbiology. microbiology. Abbreviation. But this so say for example, this is the midline abbreviation. Probably this is not the midline abbreviation. So we find here that we are for. none of so to help us none of the papers make our correction. That are here. We can use the advanced search and there under the field menu. We can click on journal and then we can start typing. So we write Indian and then so all uh, the journals say for example that, have that for the Indian, Indian Journal of Medical uh, PubMed helps Microbiology. Us find the, our journal of our and interest. And we find so we search it here keeps, keeps and on we suggesting find that, that 
So uh, as it we is skip right not recognizing we here, don't Indian find Journal Indian Medical Journal of Medical Microbiology, Medical Microbiology and we find the International Journal of Medical, Medical Microbiology. Box, and what this means is that we had made a mistake that have been published Probably this is not the medical in Indian Journal of Medical Microbiology. For. And if we so now to help us the citation, we make find our correction, not we can use the Journal of Med Microbiology and there it was in the field menu. If you do not know the full medical abbreviation and then we can start to do that. You can do that by using the Indian. Option and the then will help you all the journals the, the, that have that the, the, then this, the, the right uh, journal that you are looking for. Find the uh, one thing journal more I would like to show so here is it that gives you can on suggesting sort and your findings so as we on the basis writing, of best find here you Indian can sort them medical on the basis of the date and of publication. We add so this to now the we have got this and then public is going to sort it out in the in the in the under the according to the Indian Journal of Medical Microbiology. And if we now look at this. Citation down to get it was not older and older journal papers. of med micro so it was now, Indian. So once you have to made a search, the full say for example, I for did that, a search, you can do that one can do that by saving at for my future will help you. So this is the journal, the, this is the this is the subject the, of my in the right. I did a painstaking work one thing more I would like and now say I want to can save the sort your so I use this on the basis of best on this number sort and on the basis of the date of the publication and so there now I can have got this called save uh, and sorted out here in the in I can the, create the, a the, file the, uh, according to the year of publication, publication so the most uh, would, be, would be downloaded as we as they same. go down we the get the last thing that I want to show you papers. is that PubMed so also helps you now to remain abundant you have made a search interest. say for say example I have I listed down this and I want to listed down save it for my future and this is my so this is the journal this is the invisible subject of my interest, I did a painstaking that is my area of interest so for it. it and, and now alert, say I want and then PubMed save will this. ask me so to I log use in. this so advanced option. I click on this number. If and I then if, uh, I return to the search page, page if I and there log I can in, then click on I can save use this and to here. I can, I can create a file with my Gmail account. All these files and would be would be downloaded for me to save. The last thing that I want to show you is that PubMed also helps you to remain updated in your field anyway, of there interest. Is some, say I, say some, I have uh, listed down the server journal, listed down some this, time this citations, in, but and if I this is my area, area of I have interest, dedicated uh, the invasive pulmonary you know, invasive aspect of my sad diagnosis alert. That is my so area here, of interest. So here is my uh, create is my uh, alert Gmail and account, PubMed and will I am logged in now. So that now if I want to, if I want to, if there is some error here. Here, but if I create an alert, then for this I can search, use so this. I go to this to, search result again. I can log and in I with my alert. Gmail account. So uh, and, uh, I'm asked to name this uh, uh, search and say I say that uh, I want to name it as uh, the anyway there is invasive, some taking, I think some uh, aspergillosis problem. It is taking some time to log diagnosis. in. But if I and log in, then I have a dedicated how account. Often do you need to be alerted? So I can my search and create alert. My choice. So here so I want to be alerted. My Gmail account. Which and day you want to be alerted? And now, say I say and I want now to be alerted if I want to, Friday, uh, it tells me how many papers should at most be sent to you. So you create an alert for a good number of papers. So I go to this result again. I click and on I save, create alert. then PubMed would send so, uh, me I'm alerts to name every this week on, uh, on the, whenever say a new I paper say is published uh, I want field. to name it so, as PubMed uh, is an extensively useful resource in ways to do biomedical uh, research. Seriously, it helps you know what is diagnosis. going around in your field. And of then interest. PubMed asks also me helps how you often do you need to be alerted so, so I can choose the treatments uh, of my in your field of Say I want to be alerted, but the way to use it is to know which how to day you it. want to be and alerted. That's what so I say. I want to be alerted on Friday. It tells me how many papers should and I also thank Dr. Karuna for giving me this good number of papers. And you, then, I, if I click on save, then PubMed would send me alerts every week on, uh, on the, whenever any new paper is published in this field. So, 